Good day, everyone. Tim from Timber Visions here. So <clears throat> I'm out in the tractor and I'm going to start it up because I got a few little things I, I'm going to do that we'll go over in a little bit. But this tractor has not been started uh, for a few days for sure. Um, the week of Thanksgiving, you know, had a lot of family things going on. And then also I worked that weekend and today is Tuesday after Thanksgiving. So last night I got in the single digits here. It has warmed up to the low 20s, maybe 21, 22 degrees. But I got to get this tractor started and I kind of want to bring you guys along for this cold start. So you can kind of see how this tractor starts. I want to find out for myself too because there's going to be a lot of mornings when it's pretty cold out and I'm going to need to start this up to move snow or whatever. So let's, uh, let's get this thing started. Okay, I'm going to try to get you guys close to that as I possibly can. So I turn the key till the lights come on and right here is the glow plug, that little Curly Q kind of looks like a, a tail of a pig. Anyway, that has come on and gone back off. Um, so at, as soon as it, that light goes off, you're not glow plugging anymore. So I'm going to give it again. This time I'm actually going to start it. Glow plug comes on, goes back off. Start right up. So that's encouraging. Like I said, I, I know it's warmed up to 20 degrees out, but um, it was literally a single digits last night. Anyway, we'll let this tractor warm up. I'll kind of go over what I'm going to do here. So, one thing I got to do is move my firewood stand. Is that's positioned right along the sidewalk here and I kind of want it out of the way so when I'm moving snow it's not in the way. Specifically this sidewalk that goes down the street this is where the school bus picks up kids and I, I just want this out of the way so I can kind of push that snow back and away from down in here. Last year I kind of push things that direction with the subcompact and then over here as well we get some pretty big piles of snow depending on the year right so i'm going to move this up over into kind of where the stump used to be where i keep my grapple also and i'll probably put it somewhere in this area or maybe even I think it might actually be better if I set it up over here. And I, I don't sell bundles in the winter time for my stand. Or I had them available all last year. And I didn't sell any. So um, no, no sense in having it in the way. Kind of open things up over here so I can have that space to push snow out of the way if I need to. So that's one thing I'm gonna do here. Then I got some organization to do over at the wood lot as well. So I need a tractor. So we'll let that warm up and then I'll bring you guys along while I'm, <coughs> excuse me, while I move the uh, firewood stand.
Okay, here I'm over at Storm's place. We're going to move his firewood stand over to the right just a little bit. Uh, he's going to continue to try to sell bundles throughout the winter. Um, so I, But he wanted to move away from this bush a little bit because it's kind of encroaching onto the stand. And I had the tractor out and over on the other side of town to do some stuff with the woodlot. So I told him I'd swing by and, and help him out. So that's all I'm doing here, just moving his stand over to the south or to the right just a little bit. Now I've made my way over the woodlot. I have a bunch of these slabs from when I made those four by fours uh, for the bucking table. So I'm just loading these up and I'm gonna move them over to the bucking table so they could be cut up. Well, looks like I'll have a few to pick up off the ground. Better than carrying them all over. So when I initially set this bag here, I wasn't paying attention to the orientation of the lower straps. And the straps are on the left side. So I'm gonna have to pick up the bag here and get it repositioned so those lower straps are at the front of the pallet uh, rather than on the side so when I do go to unload it they will be in the proper orientation so just as well get this done now when there isn't a bunch of snow on the ground that I'm fighting The tractor kind of quits moving here because um, I lost traction in the back. So I had to put in an assist so I could get moving again. There we go, everything's in the proper orientation now. I just gotta grab it from the right side as you're looking at it now and I'll be set to go. I couldn't resist putting the snow pusher on. Now that I have the back drag, I kinda wanna test this out before a real snow. And on the north side of the garage here, the snow is kind of stuck around. So I'm just kind of doing a little test here. Um, seemed to work pretty good. Even grab the snow where these tire tracks are coming out of the garage. I think it's going to be a pretty useful tool this winter. It does have a rubber cutting edge for the back drag, so um, shouldn't mess up the uh, cement here or anything. But it cleans it pretty good. I was kind of imp 
surprised that it cleaned it that well. But I'll uh, just do a little push in here and I want to thank everybody for stopping in, watching my video today. Until next time, be safe, brothers and sisters. <laughs>